Hey y'all, it's me, back with another video. Okay, so my first item is this beautiful um bandana that was custom made. I'm going to take it off so you guys can see it. Well, it wasn't, it's, it's custom made by the designer. It wasn't custom made specifically for me. But, of course, when I saw the Oshun colors, I had to have it. These are, um, it's a yellow bandana with white cowrie shells. And he has his company logo on there. This is a black-owned um, company. I think it's, a, a, what is it? So, it's African Urban Couture, and he makes uh, bandanas, t-shirts, um, like I say, it's black on, so it's black, black, boogie black, um, but this is real nice. It's screen printed, he does the printing himself, they are original uh, designs, and he does the printing, so... If you want to order one of these, he does have them in other colors, like other Orisha colors. I think he had a, Shang a red and white one, um, and you know, that's the Shango colors. I think he had some other ones. Like, he didn't have, they're not um, marketed as Orisha bandanas, but this uh, young man, I, I'm assuming, is into the Orishas or a priest or something. Um, I haven't asked him specifically, but I think he is something. So, this is his information. And I'm going to put his information in the description box also. And if you go over to his site, can you please tell him that Omo Oshun sent you and you loved her bandana. And I mean, it's really nice. So I am going to be, you know, wearing this a lot in my videos just to cover my head and wearing this out. Now, it was $25, but it is screen printed. You know, he did this himself. You're not going to be able to find this in the store anywhere. So, um, I really believe it was worth it. Because, you know, it's just beautiful. And you out here representing Oshun, you know. I'm pretty sure if you, if you want a specific one, you may be able to message him and ask him. But go to his website and look and see. Um, what he has, he has all kind of t-shirts, uh, Black Panther t-shirts. Um, he is here in the Bay Area, so a lot of his t-shirts are like um, Bay Area um, centered. But he has some that, you know, have nothing to do with the Bay Area. Just, you know, black t-shirts. So I did get that. And Amani. Amani. Yes. Do me a favor. What? Look in the closet and get those black... Those, them tie-dye pants that I got. I forgot to get those out for the video. Come on, girl. You ain't doing nothing else. And I got this dress. Now, I ordered this dress off of a one of those little random websites that I saw on Facebook. They in here. Um, some little random website that I saw on Facebook. I'm going to link it in the description. Not for the link, but I'll tell you guys what it is because I forgot the name of it. Um, I don't like the dress. It's a tie-dye dress, and I just don't like the material that it's made out of. Like, when you look on the website, it don't look like it's polyester. It looks like it's cotton. And so, I was thinking it was cotton, but it wasn't. It's this shiny... Um, you know, like that polyester type, the, the stretchy polyester. I mean, the design is cute. 
the design is super cute, but you know, to me, this is not real tie dye because the inside is white. And I don't like that. Like, gosh, they couldn't even print their label on the back or nothing. Like, you you know, you got to kind of hold it up to figure out which is the back and the front. It does have pockets. This more of a mumu or a house dress. It's got a little slit at the bottom. So, I don't know. Like, it's cute to wear around the house, but I don't think I will wear this out in public. It just looks cheap, and it's not really my... I mean, y'all know. If you know me, you know I love tie-dye, but I don't know. I don't really want this for out in public. Then, I ordered these pants. These tie-dye harem pants. Now, I ordered the plus size, but y'all know how plus size is in India or Taiwan or wherever um, they came from. This a plus size? This? This a plus size? Go ahead. This plus size? I mean, they super cute. Super cute. But this ain't no plus size. Now they do fit because they stretch, but they hug. They don't fit me like hand pants because I got a big butt. And it was like, I don't know what they did like in the legs. The legs are so narrow. It, I'm like, I sent the um seller uh email and was like hey did y'all send me the kid size or something because i ordered plus size and these this is not plus size but maybe this their plus size but y'all know how it is when you order stuff from um let's see who is the seller and this was one of them facebook no i think i saw this on instagram it just says www.harempants.com. Oh, it's made in Thailand. Y'all know Thailand, everything be little, but I thought it's because it said plus size, it was going. Now, I can't fit it. I mean, it does stretch, but I don't know. I wish it had been plus size like they advertised. They advertised plus size. It should have been plus size. I'm just going to look at these pants. Huh? I don't like how it's so short. Because they capris, girl. What is that? The capris are above the Stomach? ankle. Oh, look at, oh. No, I'm not the shirt. You still need to put on the shirt. Yeah. Okay. I'm filming. Okay, y'all. That's it. So, those were the three items that I got. If you want the bandana, um, message a ready day. A ready day. Y'all know I'm bad with names and stuff. But I'm going to put it in the description. Um, who the young man is that does the screen printing. And I will talk to you guys later on today. I love you. Bye.